Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I'm going I'm not going to add any other new features, but I'm going to fix some of the bugs that I have in my melee combat system. And after fixing those bugs, this is the way my melee combat system looks. Okay, so that's the preview. I still have many bugs to fix, but, but I'm gonna focus about three bugs for today. And uh, as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. First, uh, before anything, I need to fix this problem. So here, when I try to attack, this infinite loop detected error appears and that happens here in the lock con event so actually this is what happens here so when I attack in here when I'm not locked onto a character I call this lock on event with a true without any enemy and the problem is when I call this one, let me go to the attack uh, lock on event here, right? So here, when there is no valid enemy input, I directly call this part. So when, right? So when there are no, uh, when it, when there is no valid enemy, it goes this way. And when it goes this way, when there are no closest enemies, so it again, calls this lock on without a valid reference so consequently it will call this function again without a valid enemy and it will call this part again so this is an infinite loop and last time i didn't notice this because there was always an enemy character around so this infinite loop didn't take place so sorry about that so i should have thought about that so let's fix it now so first obviously we have to get rid of this part so i'll delete this part and then here we can do this actually no need to get rid of that part we can keep it like this and only if we get a valid reference here I should call this part otherwise I, sh I don't have to do anything So that should have fixed the problem. Yeah. Yes, that has fixed the problem. Okay. And the next problem I want to solve is that this. So as you can see here when I attack this closest character you see my character uh, moves past that character and he's attacking somewhere else other than the closest enemy so yeah that happens because of this one here I have included this ready variable and 
only if this ready is also true this rotate on to the locked enemy takes place so let's uh, try removing that and see what happens I can remove this pin like this okay now let's see how that works yeah and that worked but the problem is after the lock character is dead my player character does not lock on to another character like this so now he is attacking into the thin air without looking at the closest enemy and he looks at this closest enemy only if I toggle locked on button so let's fix that problem next and now here this enemy is in the blocking mode so I can only break him with this unbreakable attack. Okay. So let's see why that happens. So let's check inside this lock on part of the tick so here what uh, all I do is when there are there is no when the locked enemy is not alive that means dead I set this locked enemy variable to false but I so what why should not I call lock on with the true without a reference? If I do that, let's see what happens. It will go in this path and get the closest enemy. Yeah, if there is no closest enemy, I think uh, I should set lock on to force not true force yeah let's try that instead of this let's call log on without an enemy reference so it's like this Okay. Okay, now he is dead. Now my character is rotated to another character. And for some reason, my unbreakable attack is not working. I need to fix that problem too. But first, let's kill this guy and see if. Yeah, now he is dead and my character is rotated. To the next character okay now all of them are dead and I'm not locked on to any other character but still yeah so for some reason my character keep rotating looking at the same direction why is that mm. Yeah, let's uh, 
check it here in the debug mode now it's like this um, can I show this both same time okay and when I'm rotating it goes this way but uh, right the problem should be even though I set that uh, locked onto false I never set this one mm. I never set this orient rotation to movement to true I have to do that as well and it should happen here yeah instead of just calling lock on I should call this uh, lock on with a false now that should be all right uh, to easily test this let's remove these two characters and test right now he is dead and my character rotates towards the direction he is walking all right all right so that's all the bugs i wish to fix for today and i will post the updated source code into my patreon account uh, page patreon page and it will be available here feel free to check that and see you in the next episode goodbye